Why evolution does not work. Evolution does not work for the simple reason that there are a million bad mutations for every single allegedly beneficial mutation. Here is a simple illustration to help understand why this makes constructive evolution impossible. Scenario 1 million. 1. Consider a species where the norm is for each adult to have one child. That is, each adult couple has two children. 2. We start with a population of 1 million adults and no children. 3. Now consider a good mutation that doubles the number of children for the adult that has that mutation. So, a good mutation results in the adult having two children. 4. And consider a bad mutation that reduces the number of children from 1 down to 0 for the adult that has that mutation. 5. The population experiences 1 million bad mutations for every one good mutation. Every member of the population inherits or develops a mutation, either good or bad. 6. Generation 1 has 1 million adults. This population has one adult with the good mutation, and the rest have the bad mutation. 7. Adults with the bad mutation have zero children. Only one adult has the good mutation. So, Generation 1 has only two children in the whole population. 8. And after this, Generation 1 dies off. Generation 2 has two members, both of whom have the bad mutation. 9. So Gen 2 has no children, and the species goes extinct. We now extend this reasoning to 1,000 and 100 bad mutations as well. Scenario 1,000. 1. This is the same scenario as above, except with 1,000 bad mutations, instead of a million, for each good mutation. 2. Generation 1 has 1 million members, of whom 1,000 have the good mutation, and the rest have the bad mutation. So, the population has 1,000 members who can have two children each. 3. As a result, Generation 2 has 2,000 members, of whom two have the good mutation, and the rest have the bad mutation. So, the population has two members who can have two children each. 4. Therefore, Generation 2 has a total of four children. 5. As a result, Generation 3 has four adults, all of whom have the bad mutation. 6. So, Gen 3 has no children, and the species goes extinct. Scenario 100. Note. This reasoning works even if we lower the ratio of bad to good mutations to 100 to 1, which is a very generous number. Generation 1 has 1 million members. Gen 2 has 20,000 members. Gen 3 has 400 members. Gen 4 has 8 members. Gen 4 has no children, and the species goes extinct. Note. This simple illustration, above, shows why evolution does not work. Why are bad mutations so much more common than allegedly good mutations? That is because DNA records algorithmic information on how to create the organism. This information is written in a formal language in DNA. Scientist quote, No formal language can tolerate random changes in the symbol sequences which express its sentences. Meaning is almost invariably destroyed. Any changes must be syntactically lawful ones. Scientist Dr. Murray Eden, in Inadequacies as a Scientific Theory, in Mathematical Challenges to the Neo-Darwinian Interpretation of Evolution. My comment, and that is why bad mutations are so much more common than allegedly good mutations. And so, the flood of bad mutations overwhelms the power of natural selection to maintain or allegedly improve the species. Conclusion, evolution does not work for the simple reason that there are a million bad mutations for every single allegedly beneficial mutation. Math and logic show that naturalistic evolution, neo-Darwinism, does not work for anything other than microevolution to adapt a species to its environment. In general, neo-Darwinism is not capable of creating the meaningful functional information needed for biological higher taxa, such as kingdom, phylum, class, order. This core problem with neo-Darwinism has not been solved by any mechanism in the modern synthesis or the extended synthesis. It requires intelligent design to create such meaningful functional information. We will discuss this further in future videos. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.